This is your complete guide to multi-camera editing in Premiere Pro. We're gonna go from the absolute basics to tackling common roadblocks that you might face. If you're ready, let's jump on in. All right, so you might ask, what is multi-camera editing? Well, if you're filming a scene with multiple different cameras filming the same subject, multi-camera editing makes it easy to quickly cut between the different camera angles, all while keeping your timeline nice and tidy. Let me show you. Okay, so we're gonna start with the basics, of course, but remember, if you have specific multi-camera questions that you need answered right now, you can review the time-coded chapters just down below. So here I have three camera angles and one audio file imported into my project panel. This was a quick music performance sent from my editor. If I drag all the files into the timeline here, you'll see that we have an audio file with just the music and all the camera angles here include audio from the built-in mic that recorded music playing from the speakers. And remember, if you're doing a talking headshot, like I'm doing right here, the same steps will apply. Just imagine these different camera angles for your talking head video and the separate audio could be coming from a separate mic like I have here. So now we can select all of these files, right click and choose create multi-camera source sequence and we'll be presented with a bunch of options. The top one is the name. By default, it's taking the clip name and adding multi-camera to the end. If you change this to custom, we can name it whatever we want. Next is how you wanna synchronize everything. Now, if all the files started recording at the exact same time, or you opened up each file in the source panel and chose a specific endpoint to indicate as that endpoint by pressing I, then you can synchronize based on endpoint. But for me and most likely you, we want it to sync with the audio. You know, that's why people use the clapper, right? But of course you don't need a clapper, it will synchronize just based on the audio. Next, we can choose a sequence preset. So basically the size, the frame rate, and all that jazz. So I'm going to leave this at automatic. And this basically means that the multi-camera sequence will copy the settings from our footage. If you want to customize this, first create the multi-camera sequence, and then later on you can go into the sequence settings and you can adjust you know, the frame size and frame rate if you need to. All right, a little bit more here. Let's leave offset audio to zero and leave the move source clips to process clips bin checked. For audio, I'm going to set the sequence settings to camera one. Doing this will give the multi-camera sequence only one audio track. But if you ever wanna change that audio track later on, in a bit, I'll show you how to open up the multi-camera source sequence and change that audio track. It's also important to note that if we change to all camera here, all the audio files will be visible in the multi-camera. And switch audio will actually change the audio depending on which camera angle is active. So if you want that, you can choose that option. So for audio channel, we're just going to leave this at automatic. So last option here is camera names. By default, I'll just name each angle, camera one, camera two, and so on. But if you've already pre-named your camera files in the project panel, here you can just select use clip names. So now we can finally hit OK and Premiere Pro will now give us a new multi-camera source sequence inside the project panel. To start editing this multi-camera sequence, you'll need to right click on it and pick new sequence clip. Now we'll have the new sequence with the multi-camera clip inside of it ready for us in the timeline. Hit this icon here underneath the program monitor to enable the multi-camera view. If you don't see this, remember that you can just click on the plus icon and grab it and drag it over. So now we're going to get a split view on the left between all the camera angles and the active one. To change an angle, you can just click on it or you can press the number keys on your keyboard. So you can press two to switch to the second angle. My favorite thing about the setup is that if you hit play and as it's playing, you hit the number keys if you stop playing, you'll look in the timeline here and you can see that the camera angle changes are reflected in the timeline as cuts for you. And you can always adjust these cuts later on. For example, we can hold control or command on a Mac and you can click and drag the cut point to move it around. And this is called a rolling edit. So if your multi-camera sequence is using the incorrect audio track, how do you change it? Well, what you can do is you can go back to your project panel here and you can right click 
on the multi-camera source sequence and then open in timeline. So here you can see what a multi-camera source sequence looks like. It basically has all the different camera angles and all the different audio tracks. Here you're able to mute the audio tracks that you don't want to be heard playing back or you can unmute the ones that you want to be heard. So while we're here inside the multi-camera source sequence, it's also a good idea to do color grading here where you have all of the layers in one place. So what I've done here is I've downloaded this retro LUT pack from Envato and let's add Lumetri color effect to this top footage and pick one of the LUTs that I've downloaded. After some adjustments, this is what we got. So next you can hide the top layer and then move on to the next layer and apply Lumetri color and so on. And once you're done, don't forget to unhide those layers so that way the multi-camera works. So back in our main sequence here, you'll see that we can switch between the different camera angles as much as we want and the color grade will still be applied to all the footage. That's the beauty of adding the color grade on the layers inside the multi-camera source sequence. And if we ever wanna go back to our multi-camera source sequence to adjust the color, all the changes will be reflected in our edit. That's the way you edit clean. And for some final touches, because this is a music video edit, I'm going to open up the Envato extension here and look for some VHS overlays like this one. Let's download it and drop it on top of everything. Let's change the blend mode to multiply. And here we go. And you're right, Envato is the sponsor of today's video, but we've all heard about Envato, right? Well, if you're new to it, basically it's a huge library of creative assets, all the way from videos, photos, sound effects, templates, fonts, and more. And with an Envato subscription, you're not limited to download like five assets per day. No, 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 because you get unlimited access. You can download and try out as much as you want. So this is all great, but it's also old news. I've told you about it before. The new news is Envato is hosting a creative competition, a total prize of $10,000. So basically Envato is challenging all artists to reimagine one of their assets using Adobe Express. All you have to do is open Adobe Express create a new project, click on the add-on tab to install the Envato add-on. And here you'll find more info about the competition and the six assets that you can choose to reimagine. Pick one and add it to your project right from this panel, and then you can start cooking. First prize will get 5,000 USD and gift card, and then there'll be 10 second place winners, each getting $500 USD gift card. The competition ends March 14th, 2025. And if you're interested in submitting, I put a link just down below where you can enter. Huge thanks to Envato for sponsoring this video. And now let's jump into a common multi-camera issue and how to solve it. So one of the common scenarios you might have is let's say that you're recording for a long time and you have two different camera angles and one of the cameras breaks up that video into multiple different files. So it's not just one audio file, right? So what do you do in that case to create one camera angle from multiple different files? What you do is you create a sequence and then you add all of those video files into that one sequence and then you can rename it and you can use that sequence as a video clip file when you're creating that multi-camera source sequence. But there's another issue. The issue is, let's say that you're dealing with a camera that can only record 30 minutes at a time and then it shuts off and then you have to restart again and you're recording your audio separately. So there's gonna be like some small gaps between those video clips because you went up to stop recording and then start recording. So I've run into this issue a few times when I'm recording interviews with another interview subject and we're using Riverside to record with each other. But I have both of us also record locally because I find that the local footage is less compressed than what you get from Riverside. So Brian, who I recently interviewed from Versus, he recorded his take and it was one file and it was perfect with his audio. But my camera, I had to get up and stop and restart it so there was those little gaps. So how do we create a multi-camera source sequence in this scenario? So let's drag all these files into our timeline to see what we're working with. So the good news for me is that because I recorded this with Riverside, the audio and the video have the same start time. But as I mentioned before, I still need to sync 
my higher quality video footage that I recorded locally. All right, so before we set up a multicam, first we need to transform this mess into one neat sequence here. So what we need to do is sync up all of my video files with this audio file. So we're going to lasso and select the first clip plus the audio track, and then right click and select synchronize. And then you can cut the audio at the end of video clip one, and then you can select video clip two this time and the audio track, right click and synchronize. And then you can repeat this step for each video clip and then you'll just line the back up and right click at the cut point to join the audio back together. And after lining up the footage, there's going to be gaps between the clips when I wasn't recording, but there's still audio there and that's okay. We're just going to leave it be. So now I'm going to move my good mic audio, this one right here to replace all the audio from the camera because we just don't need it anymore. You can also disable it and keep it there if you want. And the last thing we have to do here because we want it to line up with the endpoint of the original audio track here, we just have to trim off this excess in the beginning. So then let's select all the footage and the good mic audio and let's right click and let's choose Nest and let's name this GalCam. And basically this will put everything in its own sequence, which can serve as a camera angle that we can use to create our multi-camera sequence. So everything is finally ready for the multi-camera, but I had an idea. Wouldn't it be cool to make a third angle so we can have a third angle that has both Brian and me side by side? How do we do that? So to do this, what I'm gonna do is go to the gal cam sequence and I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it. And I'm just gonna call this the split cam. And then we're going to open that up in the timeline and drag Brian's footage on top of mine. So now we can select the top video layer and go to effect controls to move it to the side. Here we can press this little icon in the corner of the program window to change from transform to crop. And now we can crop this footage right at the middle. Then select the bottom layer and move it to the other side to create a perfect split between both of our footages. I can also right click in the project panel and create a new white solid, then add it on top of everything. And in effect controls, I can uncheck uniform scale and change the width to one. This is a quick way to get a white line right in the middle. So now it's multi-camera time. Back of the project panel, select the Brian cam, the gal cam, and the split cam and then choose create multi-camera source sequence. And like I said earlier, my footage and Brian's footage have the same start time, right? Because it was recorded at the same time. So for synchronization point, I'm going to choose in point. And down at audio, I'm picking all the cameras so I can get all the mics in the separate audio layers. Since this is an interview, I want to be able to easily mess around with those two separate audio files as I'm editing and then press okay. Then let's make a new sequence from our multi-camera source and we can now hit play and start switching between the cameras. And what's really cool is you can see that one of our camera angles is the split view. So this is a great little hack if you wanna just switch between a split to a wide view of the other interviewee and vice versa. And since we have both of our mics laid out here, if at any point, let's say I talk over Brian, I can easily unlink the audio just at that part, press shift E to mute my mic, and this will keep our interview clean and easy to follow. If you're still running into any issues with multi-camera, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer that. Also, if this video helped you out, be sure to share it with other editors who are interested in multi-camera editing. If you want more videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.